Yo, what's up guys? I'm Grandmaster Shaman and welcome back to yet another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we made it through Ultra Space, but we failed to make it to uh, Ultra Necrozma in last episode like I was thinking we were going to. Uh, we did, in fact, fight Ultra, uh, Ultra Obelisk the Tormentor, but it wasn't that that ended up... Um, taking a, a big toll on the team as you can probably see so we're gonna do a quick team recap because it has been a nice uh, nice amount of time here so we got our boy vance with dragon Pre dragon breath flamethrower dragon claw crunch holding the dragonium z our mega salamence we've got our life waifu for laifu our latias with miss ball psychic recover and dragon pulse we've got excalibur uh, our Dublade with Swords Dance, Psych Sacred Sword, Night Slash, and Shadow Sneak. We've got Neptunia, our brand new addition to the team, with an attack, a special attack raising nature as well, with a Aqua Ring, Hydro Pump, Nature's Madness, and Muddy Water. We also have Railgun, our Zara Aura with Quick Guard, Pr Plasma Fists, Close Combat, and Discharge. And Nerfed, our Talon Flame with Steel Wing Acrobatics, Flame Charge, and Brave Bird. In the last episode, we ended up encountering Tapu Fini in Ultra Space. It was our very first encounter in the uh, in Ultra Space, and um, now we're about to go back into Ultra Space to try and find um, Ultra Megalopolis or whatever the fuck it's called. New York City, basically. It's even got that looming darkness like New York City does because it's trash, trash city. No, I'm just kidding. It's because of smog. Let's see if I can't actually do this. All right, we made it. There we go. All right, Ultra Megalopolis. Man. Hmm. Welcome, resident of Alola. I am Solera, a member of the Ultra Recon Squad. Obelis the Tormentor returned from Alola. You will find it up ahead. It seems to be resting at the top of the tower. Our people have all fled indoors for safety. They fear it will fly into another rage as it did when the woman Bowsette appeared. Wow! So, this is what the humans of Alola look like. I would quite like to investigate you further. Yeah, yes, I am Waluigi. I am the captain of the Ultra Recon Squad. And now that you have found the source of light, Obelisk the Tormentor will re regain its true power. But it cannot control its own light it, in the broken form it was left in after it lost a part of itself. This power will only bring Obelisk the Tormentor more. We use the power of our technology to try to quiet Obelisk the Tormentor. Just as you, we used our technology to try and provide this dark world of ours some light. Obelisk the Tormentor and us ourselves. We have both suffered uh, for so many long years in darkness, living a life we do not wish for. Please, help us stop Obelisk the Tormentor. You will find it ahead of this place, atop Megalo Tower. So, the Empire State Building, basically. I kind of wonder what the point pool is going to be. Hmm. So you will truly go. Wow! Our Ultra Megalopolis was once filled with light. Obelisk the Tormentor was called Motherfucking Alien. <laughs> was called Motherfucking Aliens and gave us all the energy we needed. And in fact, 
We are not the only ones who basked in its light. It traveled even to the distant world of Alola by passing through the Ultra Wormholes. But, but our ancestors were too greedy, and they caused Obelisk the Tormentor to lose a part of its body. And in this in turn made Obelisk the Tormentor run wild. Help it if you can. We beg you. Well, I mean, you gotta get on those days. Alright. Are you guys ready? I'm not sure if I am. <laughs> Be straight up with ya. I like how we're getting a Roto Lotto in the middle of the fucking, like... <laughs> we're at the top of the Empire State Building, and we... Rotom's just like, Hey, Roto Lotto time, my dude! Alright. Are you guys ready? I'm not sure how ready I am, but I've got my uh, Dra Draginium Z user at the front. Which is the best I can do for the time being. Here we go. I love the fucking music so much. Super Ultra the Crosma. It's, it's Obelisk the Tormentor, Infinity Attack Points form. Obelisk the Tormentor is studying you. It seems to be eager to do duel. Yeah, maybe I should save now. You're 100% right. Even though I just saved 10 seconds ago, Rotom, I'll listen to you, my dude. La, la, light! It's Evoltal! That actually seems kind of fitting for the darkness, does it not? All right, boom. Evolta, it's special defense, Rose. Wait, that's it. That that's it. Wait, it's special defense. It's level sixty nine, so I'm so glad I leveled up. I'm so glad I leveled up. I would not be able to kill this thing otherwise. I'm actually really glad that I didn't find the ultra wormhole right away, or I would have lost. I legitimately would have straight up lost otherwise. All right, Draginium Z, please one shot. The power of devastating Drake. Boom. It lived. Evolto knows Dragon Rush. Oh, we eat that. We actually eat that up. It's over. Oh wait. But if we were at level 62, that would have killed me. Almost guaranteed that would have killed me. Or at least really, really close. Way, way further, um, like, fucked me up. Well, I'm sorry, dude. You got fucked. Sorry, homie. Sorry. Hey, Simba, what's up? You're back. I like to call you Apollo. You seem like an Apollo to me. We did it. We beat Ultra Necrozma. It wasn't as quite as scary as I thought it was going to be. Evoltal took some pretty decent damage from uh, our devastating Drake. And uh wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be. But, uh, I mean, considering that we got blasted by Tapu Fini last episode, I could use some decent luck. Obelisk the Tormentor lost its light. It disappeared into another world. Alright, I wonder what this is going to be. This is a free encounter as well. It will likely take some time, but eventually we may also be awash in light again, like all of you. My thanks to the people of Alola. My thanks to the light of the Z-Crystals. Mm. Wow! Obelisk the Tormentor took that on that brilliant form once it and became Ultra Obelisk the Tormentor. 
Thanks. But now... Obelisk the Tormentor has lost its light once more, and appears to have fled to Alola, and your soul Galeo, weakened as it was, has also returned to your world. I am most grateful for what you have done, human from the world of Alola. Wah 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 Luigi. Now, what is this poipo creating a fuss for? C C Captain Waluigi, I believe that poipo is showing an interest in this person from Alola. It seems to want to stay together with her. How fascinating! Does it perhaps seek to become stronger? Or is there some other reason for this interest? According to what we have learned through our investigations, I believe that in your world, giving a Digimon to another can be a way of demonstrating your feelings for them. And besides, Boipo seems to want to go. Take it with you if you have no objection. Sure. The question is, is it a Boipo? It's a goddamn Keldio! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Alright. It's got a sacred ash. Okay. <laughs> nice. If you wish to return to the world of Alola, you may ride upon our Lunala. Though I suppose you could always ride upon your our Solgaleo. Which one would you take? Probably Solgaleo. It's a little bit easier to control and not so freaking huge. All right. I like how Guzma's just sitting there. He's like, I oh, wonder what the fuck's going on, my dude. Ugh. What's up, home dogs? You, you guys, you guys seem uh, pretty intense. Impressive, human of Alola. Thank you so much. While you were battling Obelisk the Tormentor in Ultra Space, Ultra Megalopolis, we were able to make some discoveries about the auras here in Alola. The auras of Alola came from Obelisk the Tormentor. The remnants of the light is emitted long ago. These auras must have been particularly strong at the trial locations, and the Z power from the Z moves, it is also similar to the auras of Totem Digimon. Both came to Alola as Obelisk the Tormentor's light. You are such a powerful duelist. Maybe you can return the light of Obelisk the Tormentor without it running wild. As a sign of thanks, we'll continue to share our Lunala with you. Use the Ultra Warp Ride to explore many new and different worlds. No doubt you will find amazing Digimon. I think we will stay in Alola for a while. It is practically overflowing with sea power. It would be good for us to really experience life here. Maybe even do our own island challenge. Oh, oh. I want to become friends with Diglett. <laughs> I like how freaking Daisy is like, Oh, there's a Diglett. I mean, Lily, it seems that you were right. Right to feel hurt from, by the suffering of Digimon. Right to take Cosmog away. No, I just... The one who really did everything was Abby, not me. Here, you should take these beast balls. Put out your hand. Thanks! The special Pokeballs that we developed at, with the Ultra Recon Squad's help to capture Ultra Beasts. I know I can trust leaving them in the hands of a duelist like you. With its light, with its light stolen from it, Cosmog... No. Solgaleo is weak. We will be able to take it back to the Paradise to tear for it. Lily, you will help also. <gasps> Mm-hmm. Of course I will. <laughs> Maybe when you bring out best of others, it helps you find the best of yourself too, eh? Your big bad Guzma is gone. Um, Abby, I know I couldn't do anything to really help, but I was always about your side. You and your Digimon side. I got the chance to finally act talk with my mother. About... A lot of things, really. And I think I understand a little better now. Abby, you saved Obelisk the Tormentor and the people of that world. And all of us, too. You gave us all a chance to smile again. I'm going to head back to the Paradise for a bit to help Hoshigumo-chan recover. But do your best on your island challenge. Alright. Deuces. Try not to have too much fun with your mom that 
kind of totes abandoned you and shit, but okay. Abby, I got curious because I saw the altar go all dark, but I guess you took care of all of that, eh? I'm not going to let you take all the good parts of the cabinet, you know, so why don't you see if you can beat my trial? If you're ready to try, just come to my house. It's the sea it's in the sea folks village. Or I guess you can just come with me. Let me know if you want to go together. Oh, let's get this show in the world. Okay. I think I should be pretty solid in terms of my uh, I mean I took a little bit of damage, but I just have to battle her, right? And then we battle the Rabombi that's overpowered as shit. But, because auras are randomized, it might not be overpowered as shit. Who knows? Um, yeah, we're at, we're at perfect health. We're solid. I, I'm ready. Let's take it on. So, I take it you're ready to take my trial, right? You did come to my house, like I said, after all. I mean, that's why I'm here. <laughs> Let the trial of Mina begin. I guess I gotta tell you what you need to do. You have to duel me. Stardust Dragon! Well, shit. Oh my god, it's level 56! Oh, I feel over leveled. Bop. But I, there's no way I would have beat Obelisk the Tormentor if I didn't go into Ultra Space and find that Tapu Fini. I would have gotten bodied by that thing and would have lost the Nuzlocke. So I don't even feel bad about being overleveled compared to the, these trainers because, fuck, like I was, you, you saw how, you saw the level of that thing. I feel like it's really weird for these trainers to be there, but I'm pretty sure like in the actual, wasn't Obelisk? I don't remember. I mean, I made sure that uh, all wild Pokemon and trainer Pokemon and all of that got the same level increase. So, I did everything that I could. I guess Mina's just really bad. Kecleon. Well, if this thing transforms into a dragon type, I just gotta hit this thing twice. But I'm pretty sure I can just kill it. Oh, it lived. That's impressive. It used Substitute. It doesn't have enough HP. It used Dragon Breath. Bop. I like how there's there's the Ravambi on the wall behind it. So you can actually... It's kind of like that... Um, foreshadowing. Malamar. You're, uh, you're a dark psychic type, right? It doesn't matter. I'm just going to Dragon Claw you. Bop. It doesn't kill. How much is Night Slash doing to me? Yeah, it does absolutely nothing. It does absolutely zero. Dragon Breath. Malamard's dead. About to send out Bob Ross. This just isn't fair. Alright, Railgun. I can't believe I get to use Zera Aura in this playthrough. That is wild to me. I'm gonna close combat you into the next dimension. Yep. Sorry, Bob Ross. Alright, well, that was it. Mina's been defeated. Phew. It looks like you have had some kind of island challenge. You managed to beat me, though, I'll give you this pink pedal as proof. That's a good start, but you've only just begun the real trial. Now you have to go around to all the captains in Alola and get a pedal from each of them. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we have to go get Captain Ilima.
Now, Ilima should be in the, um... Uh, the, the, the graveyard. Alright, we barely took any damage, so I'm thinking we're solid. Yo, what's up? Bruh, I know you're happy that we beat Ilima and all, but you can't wait for me, partner. Oh, hey, Abby. Have you heard the news from Gladian, you know? Savior of Alola, hey? I'm glad to set out on my island challenge together with such an awesome duelist. But I'm not slacking off either, bruh. It's good to have a fun duel, sure. But losing a duel because you're all, we're, because all you're really doing is having fun is, well, you can't let down your Digimon when you're fighting their hardest, you know? Right, Incineroar? I know you want to win, so I'm going to make sure that happens. And here, Abby, have a Max Elixir. You should, like, totes go ahead and use that, uh, and use one when, uh, when Duel is raging on and on. Yeah. Bruh, we're both done with our island challenges. We'll have a serious duel, you and me, bruh. Digimon and their duelists have got to uh, have their hearts in the same place if they're going to win this duel. That's the way to really have a blast together, bruh. Greetings, Captain Ilima here. It seems that you've collected a great number of Z-Crystals, Abby. You're positively shining. And yes, it's always important to shine. I've traveled the world since I was young with my mother. She's an actress on stage, you see. And doing so, I came to realize something. I realized how beautiful my mother was when she dedicated herself completely to the role she was performing on stage. Yes, it was moving to see such complete dedication to anything. The brilliance of the Z-Crystals, the gleam of the totem stickers. In my role of captain, I just want to do my part to make everyone shine. But, let's set all of that aside. You're here for Mina's trial, correct? Then allow me to check just how strong you become. In a sense, this is a trial for me as well. A trial to see if the strategy I thought up would work. I mean, if you got your ass kicked by how, then really, what does that make you? Tyrantrum. Wow, another dragon type. And it's dead. Oh my god, it lived. That makes no sense. How does it fucking live that? I am legitimately 13 levels higher than it. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. I don't mean to be that high level from it, but I mean, you guys saw Ultra Necrozma, like... Was I really beating that thing unless I was level 69? No. No, I wasn't. I mean, Tapu Lele bodied me at level 69. Alright. Plasma Fists! It lived. Alright, you spikes. Uh, I guess we'll discharge. That's kind of OP. Like, unnecessary. Unnecessary. Like, very. Crustle? Well, it's time to send out Neptunia. Oh, man. Neptunia is getting her uh, first stage. All right, Misty Surge. And Muddy Water should do some pretty decent damage. If not killing it. I mean, there's the Legendary. And it lived with Sturdy, okay. The biggest problem, though, is that um, now I have to use Muddy Water to kill it because Aqua Ring and... Oh, wow, okay. Oh, my God. Oh! 
I went through... I went through all of that trouble, right? To catch this thing. Lost two Pokemon trying to catch this thing. It's 13 levels higher than this Pokemon. Because we had to fight Ultra Necrozma that was level 69. It's well, and we caught it at level 69. It was almost at full health, and it got beat by a rock wrecker from a crustle. I know it was at plus two. I'm aware that it shell smashed. It still should not have died to that. The real question is whether or not anything can beat it now, because if this, like, even at max EV, I mean, I. That's so obnoxious. That's actually so obnoxious. Let me... Hold on. Let me delete the fucking Tapu Lele from this thing. There you go. Looks like I'll have to train another one up. And now we've got Waifu coming out, which means I've got to go into Vance here. But Vance is half dead, which... We, oh, no, wait. I can't... Uh, it's a fairy type. I'm an idiot. And it's mega. And it's mega. Oh, my gods. All right, we're going to we're going to switch into a Scalibur here. Um, going to shadow sneak it. How much is this going to do? It kills it in one shot. But apparently, apparently a Tapu Lele stab water type move can't kill a freaking Crustle. But a mega freaking, a mega freaking um, Garnivore gets blasted by like a 20 base power priority move. That makes no sense to me. What what is this thing? Is this thing a Yeah, it's a Lolan Persian. It's nasty plotting. Ah, uh, it pisses me off. That really really pisses me off that Tapu Lele got bodied like that. There's no way that should have killed. There's no way that should have killed. We should have been able to eat that. That's so ridiculous. That's actually so ass. <sighs> Jirachi. Ugh. Let's bring in nerfed. Can flame charge it. <sighs> That's ass cheeks, dude. That's ass cheeks. It's actual ass cheeks. It's crazy. Wow, that doesn't even do half. Use gravity. What do you have? Earth power? Do you really have earth power? I'm gonna cry. Use future sight. Okay. That's fine. Flame charge. Bop. Jirachi's gone. It's just, it's so frustrating to know that I lost because of some bullshit like that. Like, Tapu Lele, legendary Pokemon, 13 levels higher, should not get bodied by that. No, you and your Digimon have become quite a delightful team. Please take this orange petal. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, what happens when I collect all seven? I fight a totem Digimon. Yeah, take me, take me to Lush Jungle. All right. Okay. Uh, I mean, I. That's so. Uh, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I cannot believe. That after all that, after all of that, 
Neptunia just gets bodied like that. That's ridiculous. Well, join the Ripperino freaking giant box. Ugh. That's so ass. What do I even what do I even replace it with? Like Mega Steelix? I don't even know. Maybe Gorgeist. But we've got a lot of training to get it up. I'm going to put Hollows on the team, but I really won't be able to use Hollows until it gets leveled up to around level like 69 or so. Alright, well, it's time for the next uh, six Pokemon battle. Which hopefully we'll be able to win. I'm a little scared though, because the last battle, I mean, knocked out one of my Mons, and there are seven petals. I've got two of them, which means there's five battles left, which means, yeah, there's a lot of, uh, Mallow, what the fuck are you, what the fuck are you even doing? Why are you screaming? Is that really necessary? All right. Feel so relaxed. Are you sure you should relax so much, Mallow? I, I quite like it when you're full of energy. You're so much less likely to be startled by an unexpected visitor when you are. Nabby! Hi. Uh, what's going on? When did you get here? Not that it matters. I, I was just trying to get closer to my Digimon to see all kinds of special dishes they might like me to make for them, that's all. I thought, I, like I thought, true like, relaxation might be out of the question for you, my Spry Mallow. I can stay relaxed now. Uh, okay, yeah. Sure you can. Oh, jeez, you two. I'll show it. I'll prove it in a duel. Prove it, then. Now that my Digimon uh, have me feeling all relaxed, let's take an all-out attack. Uh-huh. Digimon Trainer Mallow. You seem pretty nervous, Mallow. Rayquaza! Yay. Awesome. Awesome. I'm not fully healed. I did it again where I went to the Pokemon Center and didn't heal, didn't I? Orangaroo. That's a psychic normal type? Psychic normal? Let's let's eat it. Ow. Orangaroo died with a crit. Nice. I'll happily take that. If we can sweep the team with Vance, that would... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Awesome. No, that's, that's fantastic. We're about to fight fucking God. Sweet. All right, Railgun, I need your help here. Yikes, it's the poison one, I believe. Please kill. Oh my god, it ate it. It actually ate it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what is it going to use? Earth power. Oh, I'm dead. I'm faster. Wait, it might have extreme speed. Yep, it does. I knew it. I knew it. That still is over half? Shit. That still is over half. Alright, waifu for life. You got this. Earth power? No, extreme speed. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Alright, let's Dragon Pulse this thing. 
a crit me. Awesome. Alright, God died. We killed God with waifus. Let's go. Cophagrigus. Does this thing steal ghost? I think so. Let me max potion up. Ooh, actually it's ghost, isn't it? Why the fuck am I still in? I am so stupid. Why am I still in? Okay, you shadow ball. How much is this going to do? It's going to do well. Oh my god, it doesn't even do half. Well, I mean, then I'm just choice choice specs dragon pulse. Bop. Didn't die. Okay. Still, choice based dragon pulse does some serious damage. All right, Copper Grigus goes down, so that's two Pokemon left. Oh gosh, Magnezone. Yeah, I need to switch out here. Uh, let's go into Nerfed. Nerfed should be. Oh wait, it's an Electric type. Ooh, is that a bad idea? That's a bad idea. I'm like, hey, it's a fire type, look. I should probably, oh, but Salance is also a flying type. I mean, it would be neutral instead of super effective. But, I mean, I really should have, well, I, it has acrobatics, that's right. Well, that's why I didn't give it a fire and AMZ. All right, that doesn't even do half. All right, use lock on, that's fine. Oh, is it going to zap cannon me? Oh my goodness, that's actually terrifying. Can we get the high roll? Can we please get the high roll? I'm begging you. Yes! All right. Beautiful. Awesome. I will happily take that. I will absolutely happily take that. All right, Manaphy. Um, Zara Aura should be able to come in here, and I just need to heal it, but... It should be able to knock out this Manaphy relatively easily. You know what? Am I faster than this thing? I think I am. Fuck it. How much is this doing? 180? 160? Alright, we got this. Alright, railgun. Railgun! Boom! <laughs> Yeah, ain't no way you live through that. Let's go. Railgun is a level 5 Esper. Is it Esper? Or is it... Yeah, no, it's an Esper, right? Is that what they call them in, in certain scientific railgun? Oh, I lost. Oh, look at her face. She looks so sad. I guess now I'll just have to get my grass-type Digimon to make me feel better again. Mm. Well, take this green petal. I'm only giving it to you because you're doing me as trial, though. Not because I'm trying to get you to keep a secret what you saw here. That's a total coincidence. It's not like I like you or anything, Baka. Mm-hmm. And take this from me, a blue petal. I didn't even have to beat you. You just took it. Okay. He always plays this next. Yeah, I, I mean, I pretty much... Yeah. Let's go to the volcano together. Well, my biggest problem is that I need to be healed. Oh, wait, actually, I can be healed by this chick. This chick's gonna heal me. Yo, what's up, this chick? Yeah, good job making it this high. Heal my Pokemon. Yes, absolutely deliciously. All right, I'm pretty sure I faced Kiawe and the hiker dude. So, we should be actually pretty all right to take on this trial. All right. What's up, hiker dude? Now, who am I? Uh, the suspicious hiker. Good to see you again. You're looking for Kiawe. He's right over there. I was away, my good hiker. Never asked you, bro. <laughs> Nothing's better than keep dancing here on the volcano with my main Marowak and you. Yes. That's exactly the sort of intense training that made me... Who I am today. That's why I was thinking that you might be a good candidate to become the captain after me. 
I think you should let someone who really wants to be captain take the job, bro. It's not like the type who, who can help trial goers of the Marowak live up to their full potential. Because all I really want to do is bust a move. Is that... So. You're here for Mina's trial. Right? Would you like to... Burn in a duel with me? Sounds painful. Being thrilled by an opponent's excitement makes me want to duel more. Oh my god, Kyoe! You have been you have been taken by religion or something, I don't know. Weavile. Alright, well, Weavile should be able to get obliterated here. I got a notification from the Twitters. Oh yeah, the NXT Tag Team titles, which look amazing, by the way. Like, holy shit, they look fantastic. Oh my god, wait, it lived? Why, why, why are these Pokemon living these attacks? That really terrifies me. Alright. Alright, Alakazam. We can easily crunch this thing. Easily crunch this thing. Oh, look. My, my freaking charger actually is working. That's awesome. I'll take that. Alright, Alakazam goes down instantly. Instantly. Not even an issue. Oh, shit. Dude, my hair is so freaking fluffy. But it's kind of really bad. Like, it tangles my hair a lot. Sloking. Okay, so we should be able to crunch this thing also without much of an issue at all. Chandelure. Wow, a lot of ghost types. I will happily take it, though. Lots of... I mean, that's that's just some easy, easy food for uh, your boy Vance. Nom, 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 nom. Of course the flame body. Why would the flame body not activate? Why would it not activate? It's got to activate on the one TK that I did. And there's that future sight attack, which does a lot of damage, and then the burn does a lot of damage. He's about to send the John Cena! Alright, waifu for laifu, you've got this. I believe in you, waifu. You've taken down God. You can take down the man closest. No, I'm just kidding. Alright. Choice Specs Psychic. You're dead. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way you live that. Choice Specs Psychic? Nah. Nah, you dead. You done, bro. You done, bro. Alright, Fit Tree Bell. That's also a poison type. We could just choice back psychic this one too, and that'll kill. Alright. I'm a little I'm a little worried about the Rabombi. What like what is it gonna be? What are the random uh it's gonna be a random um it's going to be a random aura around it, which is going to be kind of terrifying, so. Astounding. Alola! I don't even know why the... Why, why do I got to fight the hiker? Does he still only have one Pokemon? Yeah, he, okay, he has two Pokemon because the game won't let him have one. Oh, that is a Mega Tyranitar. Okay. No, I, 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 I see. I, I, okay. No, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, man, this would be a great place for my fucking Swampert that's dead. Uh, this would be a good place for a lot of things that are dead. All right, Excalibur, I need you, to, I need your help. I really need your help, like, right now. Use Crunch, that's super effective. All right, that doesn't do very much. We got that Evio Light. It takes the defense drop, but Sacred Sword, how much is Sacred Sword going to do? 
It's faster than me. It's probably got that, what is it, Sand Veil? Oh, the defense drop again. I can't take another hit. All right, well, Tyrannosaur died. One shot. Quad super effective, so that makes sense. Um, Red just steal. Oh. Actually, we're staying in. What, what is the worst thing that this thing can have for me? I'm gonna I'm gonna heal up right now. We're gonna we're just gonna click on that and max potion ourselves up. There, I don't think this thing has anything for this. I might have like metal claw, but like nothing. Flash cannon. Like we we eat that. That actually does nothing. Yeah, that actually does zero. So now we just sacred sword this thing, right? Amnesia. That raises your special defense. You're 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 just stupid. You're stupid. You're an idiot. Bam! I don't have any special moves. I'm a fucking sword. What, am, what, like... What kind of sword is a special attacker? Literally a giant-ass sword. Alright. Well, Excalibur's level 70, so that's, uh, that's pretty solid. Alright, we beat Punk Pear David, which is actually the hiker dude. My hiker friend was so pleased by your right answer. He simply had to duel you. See, I can't stop myself from wanting to dance. I'm not just the type of uh, who should be captain. Happy, you were spectacular. You were so spectacular that I will give you this flaming hot red petal. Thanks, I guess, Kiawe. Appreciate it. All right, so Hokalani Observatory, please take me there. I'll take, I'll take that. Okay. All right, let me let me go heal real quick before taking on uh, Sophocles. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried about these, but I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay. So far, the battles have been a little bit difficult, but all things considered, we still come out doing pretty well we did lose a mon and though so i mean it's kind of like all right the question is is he in here no uh in here yes okay uh yeah okay uh i mean i i don't think i edited any i don't think i edited any of this text so Yeah, we got a duel. I get it. Yes, we have to duel. Let's go. I trained together with Big Mo. I mean, that's not a bad option, I guess. Oh my god, I'm actually fighting. <laughs> I'm actually fighting him. That's crazy. Orangaroo. All right, we have Salamance, right? Yeah, we're good. This is this is this is easy. This is easy mode. This is easy mode. Cause we just crunched the shit out of him. 